money is a powerful tool that can either work for you or against you. The key is to understand how to play the game, and that's what we're going to talk about today. It involves understanding how money works, how to make it grow, and how to use it effectively to achieve your financial goals. In today's video, we'll discuss the fundamental aspects of money and how it works. This video will provide you with a comprehensive guide to help you navigate the complex world of money and how it works in order to help you attain your financial goals. The game of money is a complex and ever-changing game. Think of money as a board game. There are rules, strategies, and tactics that you need to know if you want to win and the first step is to understand the rules of the game to win the game successfully, you need to have a strategy and the discipline to stick to it. Now let's get right into the six aspects of money needed to know how to play the game of money and win it. 1. Financial Literacy To understand the rules of the game, you need to educate yourself on the main fundament aspect of money, these are personal finance, investing, and wealth management. This means reading books, blogs, and articles on these topics, attending seminars or workshops, and seeking advice from professionals when necessary. Start with the basics. If you're new to personal finance, start with earning budgeting, saving, investing, and debt management. Get to understand these fundamentals so that you build a solid financial foundation and set you up for success. Online resources are the best places to access information as most are free. The internet is a treasure trove of information on personal finance. There are countless websites, podcasts, and online courses that offer valuable information on everything from investing to debt management. Also with the wide range availability of a variety of many experts in the world of personal finance who offer valuable insights and advice, it's easier to access them on social media, read their books and blogs, and attend their seminars and webinars to learn from their experiences and knowledge. 2. Understand the basics of personal finance. Having the knowledge of money, you need to understand the basic components of personal finance. This includes creating a budget, saving regularly, and managing debt. First is to set clear financial goals, define what you want to achieve with your money. Do you want to pay off debt, save for retirement, or buy a house? Having clear goals will help you focus your efforts and stay motivated. By creating a budget, you can ensure that you're living within your means and avoiding unnecessary expenses. To create a budget, start by tracking your income and expenses for a week or a month. This will help you identify areas where you can cut back and save money. Once you have a good understanding of your income and expenses, create a budget that allocates your income to different categories, such as housing, transportation, food, and entertainment. Stick to your budget as closely as possible, but be willing to make adjustments as your financial situation changes. Saving By saving money regularly, you can build up a financial cushion that can help you handle unexpected expenses or setbacks. Aim to save at least 10% of your income each month, and consider setting up automatic transfers to make saving easier. There are many different types of savings accounts available, so be sure to shop around to find one that offers a good interest rate and meets your needs. Managing debt is crucial to personal finance. Debt can be a powerful tool for building wealth, but it can also be a major obstacle if it's not managed properly. Start by understanding your debt-to-income ratio, which is a measure of how much debt you have compared to your income. Aim to keep your debt-to-income ratio below 36% which is the maximum recommended by financial experts. The rich and wealthy know how to use debt since they have know the difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debts are debts collected to finance an asset like rental property as the rental property will be able to continuously bring in money and pay off the debt. Bad debts on the other hand are like brand new car loans, student loans, or loans taken for personal use like purchasing clothes that you may never wear which lose value over time. If you have high interest debt, such as credit card debt, prioritize paying it off as quickly as possible. You can also consider consolidating it into a lower interest loan or paying it off aggressively. Avoid taking on new debt unless it's for an essential expense like a home or education. 3. Investment Management Investing is about putting your money to work for you, with the goal of generating returns that will help you build wealth over time. 
There are many different investment strategies you can use, from buying stocks and bonds to investing in real estate or starting your own business. It's important to have a solid investment strategy that aligns with your goals and risk tolerance. This means diversifying your investments across different asset classes and avoiding the temptation to make impulsive decisions based on market fluctuations. The goal of diversification is to reduce the risk of your portfolio by not putting all your eggs in one basket. By diversifying, you can potentially earn higher returns while reducing the impact of market volatility on your overall portfolio. When it comes to investing, one of the most important concepts is diversification. Diversification means spreading your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, index funds, and real estate. This helps reduce your overall risk, as a downturn in one asset class may be offset by gains in another. Another important concept is asset allocation, which refers to the percentage of your portfolio that you allocate to each asset class. Your asset allocation should align with your goals and risk tolerance. To diversify your investments, consider investing in mutual funds or exchange-traded funds ETFs, that hold a mix of stocks and bonds. Alternatively, you can invest in real estate through Real Estate Investment Trusts REIT, or invest in commodities like gold or oil through an ETF. Diversification doesn't guarantee profits or protect against losses. It's important to do your research and understand the risks and potential rewards of each investment option before you invest your money. When it comes to investing in stocks, there are two main approaches, active and passive. Active investing involves selecting individual stocks based on research and analysis, while passive investing involves investing in index funds, or ETFs, that track a particular market index, such as the S&P 500. Both approaches have their pros and cons, so it's important to do your research and determine which approach aligns with your goals and risk tolerance. 4. Wealth Management Wealth management involves the professional management of an individual's financial assets and investments to help them achieve their long-term financial goals. This includes a range of services such as monitoring your investments, financial and tax planning, risk management retirement planning, and estate planning. Doing regular performance reviews on an investment portfolio and adjusting it is surely important. One is able to be informed of the performance of their investments and has an easier way to adjust the investment portfolio so as to align with their goals and risk tolerance. Having a comprehensive financial plan that takes into account your financial goals, assets, liabilities, and risk tolerance is important in managing wealth. This plan may include retirement planning, college savings planning, and insurance planning. Tax planning involves minimizing your tax liability and maximizing your tax efficiency. This involves minimizing tax liabilities by utilizing tax-efficient investment strategies such as contributing to tax-advantaged retirement accounts and taking advantage of tax deductions and credits. Retirement planning is about saving and investing for your retirement. This includes setting retirement goals, creating a retirement budget, and contributing to retirement accounts such as 401, K, S, IRAs, and Roth IRAs. Estate planning involves creating a plan for how your assets will be distributed after you die. This can include creating a will, setting up trusts, establishing powers of attorney, and designating beneficiaries for your retirement accounts and life insurance policies. 5. Developing a mindset for financial success. Mindset is equally important. Developing a positive mindset can help you overcome financial obstacles and stay motivated on your path to success. One important mindset shift is to think of money as a tool for achieving your goals, rather than an end in itself. By focusing on your goals and using money as a means to achieve them, you can develop a healthier relationship with money and avoid becoming obsessed with wealth for its own sake. Your mindset can influence your attitudes toward money, your spending and saving habits, and your ability to achieve your financial goals. Developing a mindset for financial success involves adopting a positive attitude towards money and building habits that support financial success. Some key mindset shifts that can help you play the game of money more effectively. A mindset of abundance. A mindset of abundance means believing that there is enough wealth and resources to go around. 
This means being willing to share your wealth and resources with others and giving back to your community. A growth mindset. Adopting a growth mindset means viewing failures as opportunities to learn and improve. When it comes to money, this means being willing to take risks, learn from mistakes, and continuously improve your financial literacy. Financial success rarely comes without setbacks or mistakes, but by reframing failures as opportunities for growth and learning, you can build resilience and develop a more positive outlook. A positive attitude, a positive attitude towards money can help you attract wealth and abundance. This means focusing on opportunities and abundance rather than scarcity and limitations. It also means being grateful for what you have and finding joy in the journey towards your financial goals. A mindset of responsibility, taking responsibility for your financial situation means acknowledging that you have the power to change it. This means being proactive in your financial planning and making decisions that align with your long-term goals. 6. Be patient, disciplined, and gratitude. Building wealth takes time, staying focused on your goals, long-term perspective, and a willingness to make sacrifices in the short term. Don't get discouraged by short-term setbacks, and be willing to make adjustments to your strategy as you learn more and your financial situation changes. While financial success can bring many benefits, it's important to appreciate what you already have and avoid constantly chasing after more. By practicing gratitude and contentment, you can cultivate a sense of fulfillment and happiness that transcends material wealth. The game of money isn't really a complex and challenging game, but with the right knowledge, strategy, and mindset, anyone can achieve financial success. By understanding the basics of personal finance, developing a sound investment strategy, and managing your wealth effectively, you can build a strong financial foundation that will help you achieve your long-term goals. And by cultivating a positive mindset that values goals over material wealth, embraces failure as an opportunity for growth, and cultivates gratitude and contentment. By doing so, you can build wealth, build a happier and more fulfilling life both financially and personally, and be able to achieve the financial security and freedom that you desire. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly hit the like button if it's been helpful and remember to subscribe for more educative and eye-opening videos like this. We hope that you have gained valuable insights and strategies that will help you on your path to financial success. Remember it's not how hard you work and how much you make, it's how your money works for you, and grow.